I am your host Lokinder Kumar and today I'm going to show you how to use GraphPad Prism. I'm going to make series of videos on GraphPad Prism where I'm going to show you how to plot line chart, how, how you can plot column plots, how you can do uh, group plots as well as nested and survival plots. So there are various options that are available in GraphPad Prism and you can use those options uh, to plot your experimental data. Right now what you're seeing on your computer screen is the main window of the GraphPad Prism. When you click on the software you will get this pop-up window and you need some uh, option setting to start uh, with the plotting. In this video I'm going to just uh, provide you an overview of the GraphPad uh, prism software and what are the different plotting options that are available in GraphPad prism as you can see uh, we have x y column grouped contingency survival parts of whole multiple variables and nested these are the basic options that are available in GraphPad prism let's start with x y so in x, y, you have each point is defined by an x and y coordinate. So if your data have two coordinates, you can plot your data using this particular setting. Here, uh, you need to provide the uh, different uh, replicates for your y coordinate. If you have multiple replicates, then you can provide uh, how many multiple replicates you have. For example, if you have three, four, five, six, you can uh, enter all those replicates, then you will have option to add those multiple replicates in your uh, plot. So this is the most basic uh, format or most basic plot uh, for any data set. Then you have column. It's uh, very similar to the uh, X, Y, coordinate that I have already uh, mentioned. So you can plot your data in the form of columns in this case. So column tables having one grouping variable with each group defined by a column. So if you have, if you want to plot your data in the form of column, you can use this setting. Then you have grouped where you have multiple columns for particular group. So you can see grouped tables have two grouping variable, one defined by columns and the other defined by rows. So if you have uh, different uh, groups at particular, uh, particular uh, um, uh, treatment, you can use this particular setting. Then you have contingency. In contingency, each row defines a treatment or exposure. Each column defines an output outcome and each value is an exact count of objects or events. So if you have contingency data, you can use this setting. Fourth is the survival. In, in biological experiment, we do experiments, we do a lot of survival uh, studies and you can use this setting to plot your survival data. Then uh, if you're interested in pie charts, so you have this particular uh, setting available, which is known as parts of whole. You can use this particular setting and uh, express your data in the form of pie charts. Here, multiple uh, variable table uh, provides you each column represents a different variable. Each row represents a different individual or experimental unit. If you want to know more about all these uh, options, what you can do is click on this particular tab. Then you have nested plot. Nested plot when you have number of different variable available and you want to plot all those variables separately. So you can see nested data tables. Nested is a data designed when each treatment was 
tested in experimental replicates and each experimental replicate was assessed a number of times. So when you have multiple experimental data for one particular experiment, you can use these nested plot. They are really handy and they are very, very informative when you have multiple replicates and you want to show all those replicate, replicates separately. You can provide how many replicates you want to show and uh, this particular option uh, will give you that particular plot. So in this series, I'm going to show you how to plot X, Y, column, grouped, contingency survival, parts of whole, multiple variable nested uh, using uh, a simple data sets that I already have for the all these uh, options that are available in uh, Pair Prism. So it will be really helpful if you are starting your PhD or if you want to go in research, this will be the starting point for you to plot your data and uh, this software you can uh, you can use you can download this software i will provide the link uh, where to download this software i'm using a licensed version of this software so you might have to uh, buy the license for this particular uh, software if you're using uh, and the graph at prism i would suggest you download the latest version and use that and this software is really going to help you in your research. So uh, please stay tuned uh, for this particular series. And if you like the content uh, of my channel, please do subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, hit the like button. Thank you. Take care.